Don't forget to hit the lights up. This is your boy, Kirk Vincent, on the mic. Gotta subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow my stream, send me some bits, and send me some subs on my Twitch and my YouTube. I put the dollar in the bank that you give me, so I can use it for some good gifties. This is a gaming channel. This is the Kirk Vincent Valentine, boy! Good to see you, Cloud. This is your king of the night, Sephiroth. And I'm gonna teach you how to play a Sephiroth main. So, you want to be a good, best, base Sephiroth main in the fighting game called Dissidia. You want to be the one wing angel. But you'll never be good enough. Oh, did I touch a nerve? I'm gonna teach you how to play like me, Sephiroth. <laughs> I am the leader of the planet. And I know this is gonna get on put on cringe compilations, but that gives me more fame. You're actually helping me. Now you in order to play Sephiroth really good. You want to be, since he's a vanguard, you really should just be trying to uh, block and protect your comrades. But if you play an attack based Sephiroth, which this is a 1v1, so there's no one actually to protect, you want to actually just go in with hard slashes, even though Sephiroth is slower. This is why you want to build a heal based Sephiroth, and this is how I play Sephiroth, as I build a heal based Sephiroth. Based on trying to heal, gain bravery, because you're gonna lose a lot of bravery, because you're gonna be taking a lot of hits at Sephiroth, because Sephiroth is a little slower. So you want to build your Sephiroth with bravery and HP regen. A heal-based Sephiroth is the best way to play Sephiroth, because you gotta play like the you gotta play like the one wing Angel himself. So, the best way to play Sephiroth is to pretty much overpower your enemies, but also play smart by looking like you're playing stupid and stuff like that, and look like you're just going for random slashes. You'll draw Cloud or anybody you face in into a false sense of security. Then once you do that, go in full slashes. And don't let up even when they're on the wall. You want to wall someone so bad that your bravery would be so high enough you'd be able to do an Octa Slash. Now, you don't want to use Heartless Angel as your HP attack. H Heartless Angel as an HP attack is bad. It's not good at all. If you use Heartless Angel, then you're a horrible Sephiroth main and probably should quit playing one because you play like an autist just like cloud <laughs> so to play as a sephiroth main you know it's more than just hacking and slashing it's also drawing your opponents in false and security the only hp attack you should ever use is Sinctella or octa slash Black Materia only if you're planning to do a long range Sephiroth, but even Black Materia is a bad skill. You want to use Genova a lot, because Genova slows down your opponents. That way you can get that Octa Slash, uh, Octa Slash in. And you want to be able to do that, then use HP regen at the same time. Your bravery and your stats should be high enough to be able to get some easy hits. You know, the idea is to use psychology against the enemy because that's what Sephiroth does. And you want, if you're going to play like Sephiroth, you've got the mindset of Sephiroth. you got to troll your opponents as much as you can, Cloud. <laughs> as much as you can. Octa and then use Octa Slash to draw them in. Now, this might not work with pro players. If someone's playing a Bart's... Someone's playing a Vaughn, as someone's playing a Squall, 
Well, at least if they're a good squall, at least if they're a trash squall, you can easily damage them even with your slow Sephiroth movements. But if someone plays a Vaughn or a Bartz, you're fucked. You're fucked so bad. You're fucked more than Cloud was at at the Honeybee Inn. And that's something you don't want. It's like prison. Felice Johnson was at the Honeybee Inn. He remembers at the time he met Cloud. <laughs> but when you play a Vaughn, when someone plays a Vaughn, or Vaughn, or Bartz, you're screwed as Sephiroth. So you want to play defensively when someone plays a... If someone plays a Bartz or a Vaughn, you want to play defensively. Not offensively. Defensively. Because if you play defensively, then it'd be hard for them to hit you. So that means you're not going to be going in for attacks. You're going to let your partners weaken Bartz or Vaughn. Then you could come in there with your high bravery and do Octa Slash. And this is where you're going to need Octa Slash. Because Centilla is not going to be enough to, to take out Bartz or Vaughn. And you don't want that. Or a good Squall. Or good Noctis. If someone knows how to play their Noctis. But good Noctises are actually rare and hard to come by. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that at all. I mean, you, you, when you when you find a good Noctis, but a good but Noctis is a good Noctis is really hard to find. So you don't have to ever run into that problem. Bards and Vons are your problem. So you're gonna have to get a Lightning on your team or a fast-paced character to take out a Vaughn and Bards. You know, because those two characters, or even a Ramza, from what I learned, I've been trashed by so many Ramzas. It's embarrassing because I will never be a memory I will never be a memory and the fact that they make me a memory irritates me as it is so I had to keep coming back from the live stream just to beat a Bart's Ramza or Vaughn now it is recommended to use Sephiroth against Vayne it's right, you know. It, it's good to. It, it, it's recommended against Vayne because Vayne's about as slow as I am. So you know, and Vaughn uses. I mean, Vayne uses a little bit of Vaughn stuff as well as some of my move sets at the same time. So they're recommended against other vanguards. I'm Sephiroth's are recommended against other vanguards. So you want to actually use. Sephiroth on vanguards because if you don't you're gonna be screwed like crazy like I said you're gonna be screwed as much as Cloud was when he went to Honeybee Inn and met Felice Johnson made him a true lady <laughs> but just remember Repeat these steps over and over, and you you could become a good Sephiroth main like Vincent Valentine EX Turk. One of the best Kansas Sephiroth mains out there. Well, still gotta work up, of course, but, you know, if you want to be a good Sephiroth main, just to let you know, you're gonna have to play with cunning more than anything else. Because if you don't play with cunning, then you're not playing Sephiroth the right way. Build a heal, build a heal base Sephiroth. You know, when there's a Vaughn, Bartz, and Ramza in your way, get your teammates to deal with it and go after their Vanguard because uh, because Sephiroth's a Vanguard and Vanguards can counteract it or go after a Marksman. Sephiroth can kill a Kefka, Terra, and any Marksman or Ultimecia because they can take out Marksmans like that. Matter of fact, Vanguards are built to take out marksmen so you want to be able to take out your marksmen so go after your opponent's marksman characters because if you go after your your opponent's marksman characters you should be able to get through and, and hit him with how many attacks because marksmen the only problem with marksmen is that they're long distance and vanguards are short distance 
pretty much if you get close enough you just do your slashes and do your normal attacks get the purple numbers fish them off with the octa slasher scintilla never heartless angel heartless angel is a bad and so is black material never use those unless you're a true noob and you don't know how to play this game very well so you want to use you want to use what you can to defeat your opponent but also catch him off guard as well now I'm faced up against an ace so this is gonna be a harder battle so against characters like ace and lightning you gotta play extra careful and not get caught in their sh get caught in their attacks so you want to be able to fly opposite directions and then hit them with your basic cuts you might want to also start using Hellgate or Heaven's Gate if you can. It's going to be needed. I haven't used it in this battle per se because I never had that much trouble in this battle. But you want to use your you want to use as much Hell's Gate or Heaven's Gate as possible for an Ace and Lightning. You know, that way you could actually, you know, stop their their rush downs, their rush down combos could be very troublesome just like when cloud use um slash five in the F and children movie so you want to use that as much as you can if you're facing against a if you're facing up against a ace or lightning because ace and lightning are very spammy characters and people who you play them know that they are they're just as evil and cunning as I am that's why they use them because they know they can win tournaments really easy but I like Sephiroth more because he's a technical character and you have to learn everything for Sephiroth granted Sephiroth's not good for every occasion like I said with the Ramza, Bartz and Vaughn even a good Titus or Squall if they know how to play a Titus or Squall could be troublesome or if they're one of those rare Noctis mains that know what they're doing now one thing you gotta read your opponents before going in in the rush as well so you wanna learn how to do that as well it doesn't matter what Sephiroth costume you pick cause all costumes are the same so it does not matter I prefer the one wing angel just because I liked Kingdom Hearts and I play like the Sephiroth version of Kingdom Hearts 1, the really hard version that everybody wants to smash their controllers and make noobs scream bloody murder while I laugh at them because I'm tormenting their souls. <laughs> so, you want to know how to play a good, uh, be a uh, Sephiroth main like my boy Vincent Valentine EX Turk, a Kansas based Sephiroth main? These are the tips how to be. A Sephiroth main and may the crystal be with you also I shall never be a memory